लास्ट वीडियो विच आई मेड ऑन इनहेबिटर्स आई डिस्कस्ड दैट देर वर कैथोडिक एंड एनोडिक इनहेबिटर्स राइट एंड द थर्ड पोर्शन वॉज वेपर फेस विच आई डिड नॉट डिस्कस इन द लास्ट वीडियो एंड देन यू कमेंटेड दैट यू वॉन्ट अ वीडियो ऑन वेपर फेस इनहेबिटर सो हाई आई एम नेहा एंड टूडे आई एम ह्योर requesting uh, you all to focus on vapor phase inhibitor section also because this is equally important to cathodic and anodic inhibitor like the way we inhibit the corrosion using other methods inhibitor is one of the important two way so let's see what is vapor phase inhibitor all about in a uh, text you may find that the other name of vapor phase inhibitor could be volatile corrosion inhibitor vapor corrosion inhibitor and you generally refer it as vci which is generic term of vapor phase corrosion inhibitor so what are we going to talk today about is vci that is vapor phase corrosion inhibitor they are obviously volatile that is why the v is equivalent to volatile too now the vapor phase corrosion inhibitors obviously they are inhibitors that means they are going to inhibit the rate of reaction of corrosion they are going to slow down the corrosion rate by inhibiting the reaction right so they are the substances that slowly release a corrosion preventative compound into the sealed air space effectively protecting exposed metal surface so if you have a metal surface here then these vci molecules are to be released in the space so this carrier film is going if you can see in the picture is going to release the compound the compound uh, containing the substance which is going to prevent the uh, corrosion right that will fall on the metal which you are going to protect and then when the molecule falls down they make a layer on the surface of the metal here also you can see the layer right and here also you can see the layer now what happens is these layers actually what are they doing they basically form strong bonds with the metal surface so when they form bond with the metal surface what happens is now the metal surface is not available for attack it is not available because the coating has already been done so here uh, a passive oxide layer is formed on the metal the layer which is formed here is invisible invisible you are not able to see when in invisible and dry and it does not affect the physical property of the metal in any way so that is more important when you are doing it when you are coating it you are having a layer of vci on the molecule and it is also not affecting the property of metal so the metal remains as such also there is one more uh, positive aspect to vapor phase inhibitor and that is why they are more in demand with respect to cathodic and anodic inhibitor because sometimes what happens is you cannot uh, you know uh, prevent your metal from getting corroded either by using a cathodic or anodic inhibitor and that's how vapor phase inhibition comes because there is no physical state here what you can do is you can you know add it to the water also in a small concentration so what happens is during testing or maybe during storage or maybe after testing the vci molecule is still there is still present in the solution so it inhibits uh, the corrosion how and see here in this uh, figure you can see it is present in all the three phases it is present within the solution it is present at the water line i guess you remember uh, we discussed water line corrosion also which happens just uh, at the water line because just below the water line uh, what happens is if a container is there and this is the water line here you have a water so this area of metal is having uh, less access to oxygen so this gets corroded because it becomes anode and this area uh, has access to oxygen so that becomes cathode so simple metal area becomes cathode and anode because of the poor access to oxygen now what here uh, uh, vci do it covers that space also so now the water uh, line corrosion also does not takes place it's just like it is uh, saving your metal from getting corroded in all the three phases and that's how is equally important 
Now, what are the certain inhibitors which you can use? There are many like aliphatic aromatic cyclohexylamines, amino nitrobenzoates, amines, etc. So, these are the materials which you can use. So, in a nutshell, what I taught today is VCI, which is nothing but vapor phase corrosion inhibitor. The corrosion inhibitor is in vapor phase. Uh, you are going to release that vapor phase compound on the uh, sealed air space just above the metal so that the VCI compound gets coated on the metal surface. It just falls on the metal surface and it occupies the surface and it just makes a bond with the metal and that's how it makes a passive oxide layer. Since the layer is passive, the metal is no more active and it will not get corroded. And this layer also does not affect the metal in any way. It does not hinder the property of metal. So that's all for today. I guess you are able to understand VCI. Uh, if you want me to discuss this topic in detail, please do mention in the comment. I'll do that. That's not a problem. And if you have understood the content, uh, please hit like. Uh, that will give me motivation. Thank you so much. I'll continue posting the videos in the corrosion playlist as of now. Thank you.